My name is Jordy, if you don't know me. Okay, so starting this video, I wanted like 90s supermodel. I don't know if this is that. Maybe it's the King of Beers t-shirt that's throwing me off. I feel like we got 90s. I just don't know if we got supermodel. I love this lit, so. If you wanna see how I did it, then keep watching. That was a lot of the e.l.f. poreless putty primer. While I was browsing images of 90s supermodels, it looked like the base wasn't matte, but wasn't super glowy either. It was like somewhere in between. In some images, it looked really matte and really flat. I'm not doing that. And then in place of foundation, I'm gonna use the KVD Good Apple Concealer in the shade Light 111. And then I'll blend this out all over. My skin is drier than it normally is. Usually I'm more of a combo gal. I started using a red light wand skincare device. I wonder if that's what's done it. Because it's the only thing I've changed. And then using a smaller brush around the eye. This is the Sigma Precision Round. Usually I apply a facial oil before my makeup. I don't know why I didn't do that. My skin is looking very dry. I'm gonna try to rehydrate it a little bit. I think I'm gonna use powder for the contour and blush, so I'm gonna set this with the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I'm not gonna use a ton because my skin is looking a bit dry. I was worried about that base for a second, but it looks fine. I use the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, and I'm using this really floppy highlight brush because it's gonna apply this contour shade really softly. I'm just applying it everywhere I would if I was doing a really sculpted contour, but really diffused and really soft. Kind of halfway between bronzing and contouring. Kind of doing both at the same time. I'm gonna use the highlight in this palette as well. It's a very natural lick from within kind of glow. I want it to look like I just have glowy skin, not like I applied highlighter in a certain area. And then for the nose, using the same palette, just the same thing. Kind of a contour, just a little bit softer and more diffused. And same highlight on the nose. I'll probably do eyes and lips before I do blush so I can kind of match the tones. I am severely lacking in cool toned eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna use the light medium contour shade from the Sculpt Stack. From Melt Cosmetics, which is such a good contour shade, but also an excellent cool tone brown. And that's gonna be my crease shade. Just using a small fluffy brush. I'm doing it in a V shape, a little bit higher than my natural crease. And then using a clean brush to soften the edges. And then I'm gonna grab this shade from the Dark Matter palette and I'll deepen the crease a little bit. The shade is a little bit warmer, but not too warm. And I'm focusing this mostly on the outer corner and then bringing it over just a little bit. And then giving it a good blend. And then switching to the Rust palette, I'm gonna use this really deep brown. And then again, just really deepening the crease in the outer corner. and blend. To get this blend softer, I'm gonna go back into the other two shades that we used, taking this shade and just putting that right on top. And then this one. And then really softly blending those together. And then in all of this empty space, I'm gonna put white. Now I'm gonna line all the way around my eyes with the new Slick Waterline Eye Pencil from Melt in the shade Rich Brown. All the way across the lid. Then I'm using the flat liner brush from Sigma to soften it a little bit. And then also doing my waterline all the way across. And then using this liner brush again to pull it down into my lash line. I hate when there's a gap between the waterline and then the eyeshadow. And then just a little bit of a wing, kind of matching the eyeshadow shape. And then I'll take a little bit of this one. I'm gonna add this to the lower lid. 
I'm gonna add mascara to the top and bottom lashes using the Rare Beauty Mascara. I am gonna put on lashes, so I don't care that much about the mascara application. It's cute without lashes, but that ain't me. I think the eyebrows are gonna do a lot for this look. I'm actually gonna use this for the eyebrows too. It's kind of the perfect color. I think a soft powdery brow kind of fits the decade too. I love these brows. What a versatile product. I'm gonna use this lash by NYX. It's called Fringe Glam. I'll probably put a little mascara on them once the lash glue is dry for a little extra something. I'm gonna add a little extra smokiness to the outer corner just to change the shape of the eye look a little bit. Mm, yeah, I like that better. And adding some mascara to the falsies because I love the way it looks. I'm gonna line my lips with an eyebrow pencil. This is Ash Brown. And it's just the best option that I have for a brown liner. Yikes. And then I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Blur. And I'm just gonna put this right on top of that brown to really blend it together. Perfect. That is exactly the lip that I was looking for. I'm gonna use the Pillow Talk blush as well. It's just that perfect cool tone pink. I want to use so much more. I will resist. I'm not gonna add a bunch of extra freckles. I'm just gonna do this one with a brown liquid liner and maybe like one right here. It feels very supermodel. I'm gonna add a teensy bit of setting powder to really mattify the lip. I tried to give myself a blowout, but my hair was dry and dirty. Hopefully this worked. I'm just hoping it has some bounce and some body. Did that actually work? <laughs> I don't think the t-shirt really fits the vibe, but I do not feel it changing. I don't know if this is supermodel. I feel like it's like mom stuck in the past who refuses to update their hair and makeup. And I love it. I feel like it needs like big bouncy golden curls. It's cute though. I see maybe a little bit of Angelina Jolie in there. All right, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching my video and hopefully I will see you in the next one.